Hi and what is up guys and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to make a very simple and professional iOS icon so first you want to go on new make sure the width is on 57 height and 57 and background contents on transparent so you click on ok and now you want to go on the rounded rectangle tool and make a nice rounded rectangle that's about right now you want to set your color whatever you want I'm just gonna go with blue lighter blue I think that's all right and as you can see my rounding rectangle is a bit you know it's not right so what I'm gonna do is go into the move tool and just move it in and with the arrow keys make it a bit smaller so that's hold on to control and then T there you go nah it's not really that much of a difference make it a bit smaller there you go and now use your arrow keys to your advantage and just it's okay so now you want to make a new layer you want to name that layer sorry for that name that layer main now you want to zoom in click twice and now you want to go onto the gradient tool and make sure it's on linear and it's on foreground to background So you want to hold on to forget that for a bit. Um, I just want to move my um, my rounded rectangle and move a bit to the right. Make it a bit smaller. Looks a bit stupid there. So it looks about right. Now it's just it. It's a lot of trial and error. This. So anyway, get back onto business again and go back onto main. Hold on to shift and make a diagonal gradient line looks about right maybe one more time that's it now you want to make an elliptical marquee and make a circle and you just want to move it around with your keys now always use, always use your arrow keys to your advantage and that's about right move it a bit to the left a bit more to the left because um, that's where the style is and now you want to hold on to control shift and then click on i on mac it is command shift and then i i'm on windows so i'm going to press control shift i and now i'm just going to press backspace and to deselect hold on to control and click on d there you go now you want to make a new layer again and you want to name that top top there you go and you want to go back onto the gradient tool again and make sure it's set on foreground to background and your lin your gradients on linear so hold on shift and hold on to the top and make another diagonal that way to the right make sure that's a bit too much so you want to put the opacity down to about 60% that's about right 60-65 now you want to make another layer and you want to name that bottom I don't mean your bottom and you want to hold on to shift and make a straight line on the bottom Be one more time it's all right and make sure you set down overlay and put the opacity down a bit that's about right 65 percent that's it guys and make sure you save it as a PNG to use it on iOS devices as iOS icon and save it as okay no and there you have it your iOS icon you may you can write anything you want or put a logo inside that's up that's up to you but I was just showing you how to make a simple iOS um, icon the the link in the description for the PSD will be in there so if you copy asked you know making the icon then that's up to you but that's it guys you can use this icon for a for a app or for a winterboard app if you're making if you're developing a winterboard theme that's it guys make make sure you subscribe like comment share rate whatever inbox me for any more suggestions and be sure to uh, subscribe on to my other two channels where I make FIFA videos and on the other one I make 
just random videos that you might like, funny videos, whatever. And the channels are FIFA Pride Decks, that's where I do FIFA commentaries. And if I get a bit more support from you guys, I might actually start uploading once a week. And my other channel is called MNZMSU, I just upload random videos. My like them, nearly got 100 subscribers, not really bothered about how many subscribers I get on that, as it's just a random channel. And that's it guys, in a bit.